Without a doubt, the new X Solid Studio is a powerful solution for loading and using your own custom impulse responses. But how do you actually do it? Well, in the next few minutes, I'm going to show you how to do it. And we're going to get started right now. Well, hey there, it's Scott at the Pedal Guy. How you doing? Well, we're all about pedal demos, pedal knowledge, and pedal sales. I love pedals, and so do you. In this video, I'm going to very quickly show you how to load impulse responses into the new X Solid Studio. Now, the reason I'm doing this video now is because I'm just finishing up a custom job for a customer where he asked me to load a bunch of impulse responses into his Solid Studio prior to shipping. So I went ahead and did it. I thought it might make for some very interesting content. So I hope you'll agree. Let's get to it. Now, before we go ahead and start installing some impulse responses into the Solid Studio, you're going to need three things. One, you're going to need the latest firmware. Two, you're going to need this new X uh, Solid Studio editor. And three, if you need to do any format converting, you need to grab that software as well. All of that's available on the new X website. I'll leave a link in the video description below where you can grab all that. But once you've installed the latest firmware and you've installed those two pieces of software, you're ready to go ahead and get started. Let's get to it. All right, just as a quick refresher before we get going here, the cabinets are on the left-hand side, the microphones are on the right-hand side. Now, when you start loading IRs into the unit, you have to think about location, location, location. And what I mean by that is that for every cabinet, there are numerous microphones. And each one of those microphones, there are three different positions. There's the center, the mid, and the edge. And you can load an impulse response into each one of those microphones in each one of those positions. So you literally have hundreds of different combinations to choose from here. So that's why you want to make sure you get your methodology down and make sure that you document everything you're doing. Otherwise, you'll never know which way's up and you'll have to go back to square one. And trust me, from doing this for the last couple of hours, I can tell you it can get very tedious if you're not careful and not documenting. So make sure you do that. Okay, enough of that. This is how you do it. Very simple. Okay, let's bring up the editor. Um, you can see that we have the A212 cabinet and I'm using the uh, C3000 microphone space. And I've got three different impulse responses I'm going to load into the first position, the second position, and the third position. And you can see is as I'm changing that, the impulse response waveform is actually reflected in the editor itself. So, very simple, very straightforward. Let's go to the button that says load to your IR device, load your IR2 device. Let's bring that up. And I have got the Explorer down below, and I am going to load in these Royer 121 impulse responses, A1, 2, and 3, into the first, second, and third position on the microphone, respectively. So go ahead and select it, open it. Now it just takes a second uh, to load that in. A uh, quick note about the file format itself. It needs to be a WAV file, and the maximum resolution is 24-bit. 44.1 uh, kilohertz. Okay, so if you bring, if you try to bring in 24-bit 192, not going to work, and you're going to need to use the audio converter program that Newex supplies in order to get it down to 24, 24-bit uh, 44.1 kilohertz. Okay, so keep that in mind. So as you can see now, the uh, impulse response has been loaded in. If I want to reset it and go back to zero, just go to the button here that says reset to default IR. If you click on that, it's going to ask you if you want to reset the um, reset that current data, which you can. And now you're back to square one. Um, so let's re-import that again. And now what we'll do is we'll go ahead and go to the second position, which is the um, the uh, middle. And um, we'll go to uh, load the impulse response and we'll load in impulse response A2 which you can see just takes a second. And then we're gonna to go to the third position and repeat that with a three. Okay, so easy peasy, not nothing to it, right? Um, so now we have three different impulse responses on this cabinet with this mic in this different position um, as far as the location goes. So make sure you document that. Um, so we have uh, A1, A2, and A3. And you can see there isn't a lot of variation between these three impulse responses, and that's because of the way that this collection was designed by the manufacturer. So the job here is simply for me to just put those impulse responses into the Solid Studio prior to shipping it to the customer. And I chose to do that in this case, and I thought that this might be make for some very valuable content. 
because I actually went out there and looked to see if there were any videos on this and it was very sparse and it didn't make a whole lot of sense. So I figured that this would be a good a time as any to really get in there and make it easy for you guys to understand and digest. But if you do have any follow-up questions, use the comment section below. I hope this video helped you out. We'll see you soon. Well, thanks for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any further questions, be sure to visit us at thepedalguide.com. But in the meantime, follow us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram, and also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for weekly videos and tutorials. Thanks for stopping by here at thepedalguide.com where I love pedals and so do you.